Imagine me fighting the giant Galvatron. That's right. Thanks, Rodimus. He'll be okay. Let him get some sleep. Thanks for coming, Rodimus. We didn't know what to do about the nightmares, and we thought that since he respects you so much... Forget it. We all have to learn how to overcome our fears. Good night. Electromagnetic disturbance. First time I've ever seen such activity in these parts. First time I've ever seen these parts. This beast sticking to us like creepy glue. Here's right behind me, isn't it? Not the best place for a party. Fog so thick you could cut it with a laser beam. Thank you. 
Luigi! The dragon did this? I don't understand. Where are we? That really doesn't matter, does it? But if you could defeat him and return me to my home, my father the king will pay you a large sum of gold! Gold? Okay, he's weakened and damaged. He'll need to repair himself. I'll do it, my lady, and for no reward. <sighs> Speak for yourself, Autobot. There's a magic lance hidden somewhere in the castle. It is the only weapon capable of destroying the dragon. Then I'll find it, and if I must, I'll use it. <sighs> You're making me sick, Autobot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not laughing at you. Exactly. I just... I've got the worst taste in men. Abracadabra! Hocus pocus! And with this magic hold... Ready, set... I turn you into an... We have no effect on the monsters, but they can destroy each other. <laughs> A bucket of water? But why? Abracadabra! How did you know that would work? I've spent time talking TV with Rekgar. Well, whoever's behind this appears to be providing us with weapons. But why? The human is resisting us. He cares so much for his Autobot friends. His subconscious mind is helping them. Increase the power. We will make the human do what we want. <sighs> This should lessen the chances of the human sending any further assistance to his Autobot friends. When this experiment is completed, we will let long last regain control over Cybertron. Transformers Generation 1 will return after these messages. We now return to Transformers Generation 1. When I get loose, you're gonna be snuffed by! Familiar. I could have shown that pilot some really fancy flying. No time to worry about that now. We've got to rescue Springer and Razorclaw. Hmm. You worry about the Autobot. We'll find Razorclaw ourselves. And don't try to get in our way either. Enjoy the festivities. The boy rescued them. I'll take care of that. The setting is too high. It might damage the human's brain. Never mind. As long as it keeps him from helping the Autobots, it will be worth it. Dad! Dad! Help me! Help! Get off! Get away from me! There's gotta be a way out of here. There's always a way out. <sighs> Wait till the guards come, then we'll dismantle them. Say, I have an idea, but I need your help, Razor Claw. Is this dangerous, Night Springer? Heck, what's a little danger among friends? Razor Claw, will you help? Uh, what do you want from me, Autobot? My plan can't fail. Here's what we're gonna do. There must be something around here to fight with. Look! There's no 
no doubt about it now. Someone is helping us. This world is almost like some nightmare gone mad. But who's behind it? Who? Now what? If you want the droid, you're going to have to come and get him. Don't attack! Look at all the stuff you stole is going. Let's see if you have the summit for a real Transformers Generation 1 will return after these messages. We now return to Transformers Generation 1. We don't rescue Danny immediately. The boy's going to be in serious trouble. Well, we can't go back in time, so what's next? this. Paul was the one I didn't trust. But how? We followed this road. A yellow brick road? I don't believe any of this. I hope you two have an explanation for this. Danny! Are you there? Danny! I can't believe this. Even on the 
machine's highest setting, the boy is able to help his friends. The human brain still defies us. We now have no choice. It is a shame the human must be eliminated, but it is in the cause of science and the continued existence of the Quintesson race. <laughs> Martimus, help me! Hang on, Daddy! I'm coming! He cannot hear you! He can only hear me now! Daddy's mind is being stretched beyond human endurance! The journey will be very dangerous to all of you and the boy! Go for it! fun. What does he consider a bad time? Ah, but the battle between the Predacons and the Autobots continues. Trick or treat, huh? We'd never go there. It isn't in our nature and nothing can change that. You don't get to joke. Not today. I just took a bullet for you. Predacons form Predaking! Headstrong form Predaking! I can't look at my way! That's no fantasy, Razorclaw. Predacons transform and retreat! Well, let's take him home. You got it. Rodimus! Rodimus! I'm here, Danny. You had another nightmare. It's been the worst one of all. But I did what you said. I called on a giant Rodimus to fight the giant Galvatron. And you won. You controlled your dream. That means you won't have any more nightmares. Really? No more giant Galvatrons and no more snake monsters. Hey, how'd you know about the snake monsters? <laughs> you got the touch. From the secret files of Teletran 2. In the days of Megatron, Decepticons developed the art of espionage using cassette technology. Their first cassette, Laserbeak, could fly undetected into any Autobot stronghold, record information, and then return to base. Then the Decepticons decided to increase their spying abilities with Ratbat. As a bat, Ratbat can hide in crevices that Laserbeak can't reach, and he's especially effective in tunnels, caves, or in the darkness of space. Ratbat reports on the Autobots' most carefully guarded secrets. The Autobots had no choice but to strike back at these Decepticon techniques of stealth, building a force of cassette transformers of their own with Blaster as their guardian. They constructed Ramhorn the Rhino, who can use animalistic force if cornered, and Steeljaw the Lion, who can crawl through the foliage of any alien world 
world to sneak up on Decepticons. They also bolstered their cassette boards with Rewind and Eject, who can transform to robot mode and use more conventional fighting force techniques. 